Hi everyone, in today's lesson we're going to talk about something called the alternate definition of the derivative. And we can use this definition, um, I'm just going to make a change here, so f prime of a is equal to the limit as x approaches a of f of x minus f of a over x minus a. So you notice you're going to find f prime of a, which means the slope of the tangent line at x equals a. So this equation or this alternate definition of the derivative doesn't actually find f prime of x, but it skips right to the step of the slope of the tangent line. So let's see how it works. So we're going to use this alternate definition of the derivative to find the derivative of this function at x equals negative 1 or in other words, the slope of the tangent line at x equals negative 1. So I'm going to start by writing the definition. So we have f prime of a equals the limit as x approaches a of f of x minus f of a all over x minus a. So what we're going to do is everywhere we see an a, we're going to replace it with negative 1, because that's the value that I want to find it at. So f prime of negative 1 equals the limit as x approaches negative 1 of f of x, I'm going to leave a space, minus f of negative 1 over x minus negative 1. So all I did was put negative 1 in here, in here, here, and here. And now we need to figure out, well, what is f of x? So in this spot, f of x, we're going to put our original function, right? This is f of x. So we've got f prime of negative 1 is the limit as x approaches negative 1 of f of x. So I'm going to go ahead and put x squared minus 5x plus 2. Then we're going to subtract f of negative 1. So what that is, f of negative 1, is if I take my original function and plug in negative 1. So f of x is x squared minus 5x plus 2, and I want to find f of negative 1. So everywhere I see an x, I'm going to put a negative 1. So negative 1 squared is 1, plus 5 is 6, plus 2 is 8. So that is going to go right here, and we'll call that 8. All over, now I can make this x plus 1, right, that double negative. So I've got f prime of negative 1 is equal to the limit as x approaches negative 1 of x squared minus 5x minus 6, all I did was add the 2 and the negative 8, over x plus 1. Now, if you try direct substitution, you will get 0 over 0. So we need to try some factoring methods. So f prime of negative 1 is the limit as x approaches negative 1 of, I think we can use add multiply for the top. So what adds to negative 5 that multiplies to negative 6 is x minus 6, x plus 1. The x plus 1s will cancel. So if I want to find the limit as x approaches negative 1, all I have to do is directly substitute it. So f prime of negative 1 is, I'm substituting negative 1 for this, so negative 1 minus 6, which is negative 7. So that will give us our slope of the tangent line at x equals negative 1. So if we keep going, part b says, what are the equations of the tangent and normal lines at x equals negative 1? Well, remember, we need a point and we need a slope. And we, to find the point, we use f of x. 
To find the slope, we use f prime of x, and we want this all at x equals negative 1. So I'm just going to start by writing f of x, so x squared minus 5x plus 2. And the slope, we're going to use f prime of x, but we don't have f prime, but we have f prime of negative 1 is negative 7 from what we just found. Therefore, our slope, m, is negative 7. And if we want to plug in negative 1 into our point, we already did this, right? We did this in the problem, and that gave us 8. So f of negative 1 is 8. Remember, it goes x comma y. So this is your x1, this is your y1. So the equation of my tangent line is y minus y1 equals m x minus x1, double negative, makes it a plus. And then my normal line is y minus 8 equals flip and negate the slope. So a negative 7 becomes positive 1 7 and then x plus 1. So this is your equations of your normal and tangent lines. All right, let's take a look at example number 2. Same concept, but now I want to find the derivative at x equals 7 of this function. So let's start by writing our formula. So f prime of a is the limit as x approaches a of f of x minus f of a all over x minus a. So I want to find the derivative at x equals 7. So my f prime of 7, so everywhere I see an a, I'm going to put 7. So f prime of 7 is the limit as x approaches 7 of f of x minus f of 7 all over x minus 7. Now remember, your f of x is your original function. I'll use a different color. So your f of x is your original function. And your f of 7 is when you plug in 7 into the original. So let's write what we have so far. We have f prime, I'll use a different color, f prime of 7 is the limit as x approaches 7 of f of x, my original, minus f of 7. Well, let's just write this down one more time. f of 7 is when I plug 7 into the original, so 7 plus 2 is 9. And the square root of 9 is 3. So f of 7 is 3 all over x minus 7. So if you try direct substitution, you're going to find that you'll get 0 over 0. So we have to use conjugates to solve. So we're going to multiply the top and the bottom by the conjugate of the numerator. And all we do for conjugates is switch the middle sign. And we are going to double distribute the top or double distribute the conjugate pair. And we're going to leave alone the non-conjugate pair. So when we multiply any radical times itself, we get itself. And we don't need to do the outers and the inners because they're going to cancel. And negative 3 times positive 3 is a negative 9. And like we said, we're going to leave the bottom alone. And we're going to take our limit as x approaches 7. So if we simplify the top, 2 minus 9 we know is 7. So this is really x minus 7, which cancels with this, which leaves us with 1 on top. So we have f prime of 7 is the limit as x approaches 7 of 1 over rad x plus 2 plus 3. So now, if we want to find the derivative at 7, we just plug in 7 using direct substitution. So 7 plus 2 plus 3. Uh, square root of 9, right? 2 plus 7 is 9. Square root of 9 is 3. And 3 plus 3 is 6. So f prime of 7 is 1 over 6. So this is my slope of the tangent line at x equals 7.
So if I want to find the equations of my tangent and normal lines, I do the same thing. I need to find my point, which we're going to use f of x. And I want to find my slope, which I'm going to use f prime of x at x equals 7. Well, we've already found our slope of the tangent line from the derivative definition. So f prime of 7 is equal to 1 sixth. So my slope is 1 sixth. And f of one, 7, we found before, which was plugging 7 into my original function. So 7 plus 2 is 9, which made the square root be 3. So f of 7 is 3. So my point, x1, y1, is 7, 3. So the equation of my tangent line is y minus y1 equals m x minus x1, which is 7. And then my normal line is y minus 3, flip and negate the slope, so negative 6, and then x minus 7. So here are your two answers for your equations of the tangent and normal line. All right, that's it for today. If you have any questions, now is a good time to jot them down, and we'll see you in class tomorrow. Have a good night.